Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adas this. In today's video, I'm going to be opening a Pokemon Center exclusive Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box Plus. But before we get started, I want to do a quick mention about a giveaway that I did in this video. Where if I pulled an OR from the product that I was opening, which so happened to be a Silver Tempest booster bundle, I'd give one away. So congratulations to this person for winning the giveaway. I'll be in contact as well as some details. But without further ado, let's get into the opening. Alright guys, so we have three Pokemon Center Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box Pluses to open here. So about 36 packs, I think, because you get 12 in each box. But let me move these two aside for now. So here's the front of the box. To the side, to the top. Here's the back. All stars from Galo, Hisui, and beyond. I'll leave that up there for a second. So there's the contents. If the light doesn't get in the way, there you go. Let me crack all of these open, show you what's in them, and then start the opening. So here's the inside of the cardboard insert, no actual artwork on this one, just some crowns, some crown symbols for the crown zenith set. Here is the player's guide. I have watched a few videos to be honest because, I mean, by this point you'll see anyway that this video is going to come so late and I've only just managed to get time to film. So I'm very late for the party, but I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this video, make this video for so long, record for so long, open for so long, but I have to wait, to wait. Here we are. So let's skip to, I guess, the best part, which is, I guess, here. Yeah. There's only five full arts. If you're counting the energies, technically 12 full arts. 8, 12, 13, 12, 13, something like that. Math. Um, secret rare Pikachu. Here's the Galarian Gallery cards, I believe they are. The non special ones, I guess. Oh, the lights, no, there we go. There we go. And then here's the actual alternate art ones, if you want to call them that. They, they're technically all not arts. The Galarian Gallery, what? The way the artworks are, they're like alternate arts, you could say. There you go. And then there's the gold cards, the gold cards. Wow, those are bloody absolutely beautiful. And that's the player's guide. You get a deck box. Here's the deck box out of the seal. You should get some deck, no. Okay, so the added deck divider is in the actual box itself. Go get some metal gold dice or damage counters, shall I say? Yeah, damage counters, some gold condition markers, gold and black. These are also metal as well. There you go. A metal, a metal Lucario coin. There you go, that's very really nice. What should be 12 on Zenith pack, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, perfect. 12 packs. Your sleeves, these probably are, they should be different to the ones you get from the regular trainer box. Some sit deck dividers, Lucario, and the crown symbols, and then on the tops, like, cut out as a crown, like, Shaped as a crown. There you go, there's the back. And here's your Lucario V Star promo card. Really nice promo card. Really, really nice promo card. Let me get the gold card up for you and show you it. Or I could just do that. There you go. There's the gold card. I actually forgot to mention guys before we get started the for once I think this time with this set the Crown Zenith set the Elite Trainables Plus is actually different 
or the inside of the Elytrina box bus, not the sleeve, is different to the regular Elytrina box from what I've seen in videos because I've watched a couple of them like I've watched the regular Elytrina box opened and I've seen a couple of these ones just to kind of get a gist of pull rates but yeah um, this time they've got the Pokemon trading card game and a Crown Zenith logo like etched into the box itself and then the design itself it, I think is completely different as well compared to the regular one so yeah just wanted to mention that well, let's get started with the packs Alright guys, so 36 packs I'm gonna start from the left side I've sorted them out, so I'm basically box 1, box 2, box 3 I was gonna mix them up, but I kinda wanna get a kind of idea of which box is gonna be best Whereas if I did it randomly, you wouldn't know So this is box 1 Alright, I've been itching to open this I've been itching to open this for so long this set I've been waiting for, I've been waiting to open it, just haven't had the chance. Some sick cards. Or the, mm, you're more or less getting all, all arts from this set. If you're getting the good pulls anyway, starting things off with nothing. Alright, moving into pack two. If you guys have started already opening cards in it, which you probably have, because I'm very late to this, is probably about probably gonna be like two three weeks late opening it but if you've opened some yourself let me know in the comments down below guys if you're enjoying it so far do you like the cards from this set do we have anything oh our first galarian gallery card which is a lapis this is a beautiful artwork this is a beautiful artwork there you go and a young maker Yeah, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. How your opening has gone. Have you pulled anything good? Have you pulled your chase cards? What are you looking to get out of this set? All of that stuff. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. What, Helioptile, Wulu. Oh! Wow, are those print lines? I think. I don't know. Yeah, you can pick it up. Blood, yeah, look at those print lines. That's the bad thing about these reverse energies. And these, like, you can easily tell those print lines. And a double. So, um, the reason I'm kind of late, I guess I might as well kind of explain what I've been in my day. So it's probably about 2 3 months. Has it been 2 3 months? I think it's been about 2 3 months. I'm kind of taking it slow. I'm gonna, I've decided to take things slow. And I've kind of decided not to go too hard in the sets. Young Goose, Reverse Love This. There's a V card, I believe, in this part. Yep. Yahoo! It's on V. I believe these are reprints from reprints from Evolving Skies. Yeah, I'm gonna take things a little bit slower now. I'm not gonna go too heavy in the set and I know I'm a master set collector which I am but I'm actually not going to try and master set every set I think that's too much decided that's way too much so certain sets if there's enough cards warranted that I like in those sets I'll try and master set the set oh nice my motor glaring gallery the lighting from the top it's gonna make it good to see, but you'll probably see it better in the glam shots anyway. There you go, my motor and a pangaroo. Yeah, there's that. And this video, I should have said this like probably at the beginning or like close to the start of the opening. This video is probably gonna be a longer video, a lot longer. Of all the stuff that I think at the beginning, the mention of the beginning, stuff like that. Kind of actually, I'm going a bit faster than I usually do. Oh, nice! These I really want to pull the most. I reckon these would be the hardest to pull to master set. And we have enamorous. I mean, about halfway through our first box, not bad to be honest, we pulled two art 
rares, Galarian galleries of V, and two reverse energies, which is not too bad, not too bad to be honest. High five, High five. is our first one. Oh, oh, right. first one not, but Fuck a rock, Lunatune, Lunaton, is a cute, is a cute. You can tell this has been a while. Oh, nice, Radiant Eternatus. Not yeah, this box is not too bad. I mean, we haven't seen a a secret rare or oh art yet, but it, Radiant Eternatus, not bad. Oh, there we go, Regigigas V Star. So double banger, you could say double banger. Not bad, not bad. Of course, the best outcome would probably be to pull at least one of the better rarity of the Galarian Galleries. I think we've got one, guys. I think we've got one. It's either that or it's a full up. I think we've got one, guys. I think we've got one. Fire Energy, Energy Switch, Cockerock, Lunatone, Leopta, Wulu, Shinx. Is it the next one? Nope. I think it's the next one, guys. Next one. Oh, now that's a nice one, Gardenia's big one. That's a beautiful card. Nice, so we've pulled one of the special versions of the Galarian Galleries. Nice, nice. Light pod. Yeah, from a Pokemon Center in the channel box. I'd hope. I'd expect for like this one of those, like one of the full art versions of the Galar Galarian Galleries. That one came backwards for some reason. In this box so far, we've pulled decent high five. We've pulled one of those. We pulled a Radiant. We pulled a V Star from the main set. We pulled a V. Yahoo! Pulled a couple of um regular Galarian Galleries. A double from this one. And the full up. I I thought these would be so rare. I thought these would be so rare to pull since there's only five of them technically. And from all the videos that I've seen, I've barely seen full ups getting pulled. Barely. I've seen those um what are they called? seen a few of those um full art energies but I've barely seen any of the full art like trainers or um what are they called yeah the, the full art versions the full art I think there's only trainers actually there's only five full art trainers right guys shaman crushing I've only seen a few of those I've hardly seen those being pulled so yeah this one's more of a Galarian gallery pool kind of set Bidoof, Luxury. So we've got two packs left. Yeah, this video is going to take ages, guys. This, I'm going very slow for some reason. Even though I'm not even kind of like going as slow to look through the regular cards. Why are these backwards? See, half of them was bloody the right way, and then half of them is backwards. Lightning Energy, Ultra Ball, Crushing Hammer, Luxio, Pancham, Snow Ramp, Ponyard, Tangela, Baltoy, Electric, and then Amorous. Alright, so last pack from the first box. Oh, this is exciting. It's been so long since I've had any Pokemon open. I haven't even opened off. Well, I don't really even open off camera anyway. But I haven't done any openings off camera. I haven't opened anything on camera for a while. So this is exciting. And so far from my first box, looks good. Looks good. Wilmar, Shinx, Corfish, no, nothing. Helioskis. Double Helios, Heliolis. Our first box was definitely a bo good box, guys. That was a good box. Um, 12 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, I'm not going to count the energies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hits. 12 packs. It hits. Not too bad. Too bad. Two full arts. A Radiant. And a V Star. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I like that. I like that. Lovesta, Tangela, Baltoy, Meow, Wilma. Nice, yes. I'd love to pull more of these. 
I don't actually know why I'm sleeving them as well, to be honest. Obviously, I need to sleep them, put them into the binder, but I could sleeve them up after. Don't know why I'm sleeving them now. I normally only sleeve like the V's and above. Lightning energy, Incursion, Great Ball. This year, guys, this year, Pokemon's looking, the sets are looking. Yahoo! Yes, nice. Another Galarian Gary that I don't have, I believe. From what I've seen in videos and from what I've heard, it's a rude hollow. Yes, yeah, so from what I've seen in some videos, that Puchiana is supposed to be from V Star Universe. Like in a good pack where you can only pull it in a good pack and you get nine of the artworks in one pack, which bloody hell, mate. Those must be expensive. High five. But obviously in English they put it in the packs like separately. Since English don't do code packs, come shoes. Looks this year guys, this year Pokemon's looking to be up in their game. Tom Zenith with all of these art rares. Galarian Galleries. Scarlet and Violet which is releasing in March I believe. The end of March. And then we're from Zenith, they're doing multiple releases over the months from the Sinnoh, Ilyosk. Crown Zenith, they're doing like a four or five month release of like different products, I think every month. So, when they just released February 20th, or was it Jan no, January 20th? January. So, this is releasing in January 20th, and I think it released alongside the Elite Trainer box and the two collection boxes of Regilecki and Reggie E. Lecky and um, Reggie Drago. So, and the Executor and the Zamazan V. That's some nice artwork. This box so far isn't looking too good. This box so far isn't looking too good. Too good. But yeah, from Zenith. Um, yeah, so Elite Trainer Box. Two collection boxes first, and then in February, what's February again? I don't remember. Is it a mini tins? I think it's mini tins and something else. And then in March, something else. And then April, nice for a coral glaring gallery. And I'm To be honest, I don't really like that they're doing that with Crown Zenith because when by the time Crown Zenith finishes or before it even finishes, Scarlet and Violet will be out. And then that's gonna like impact what you wanna buy. So if you're like on a budget or if you're trying to spend wisely like I am now, with Scarlet and Violet coming out and then you still have Crown Zenith coming out, I gotta kinda choose which one I wanna go for. In my case, I'm more than likely to do one of these products around release time, like I normally do. And then focus on one set, which I don't know yet. I don't... Yeah! These Pokemon and the Trainer Boxes, half of the packs are the right way around cold cards, and then half the packs are bloody the other way around. And so far, this box nothing to show for it. I think this box is going to be a dud. My luck with Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes are usually up there. Is this the day that I jinx my luck? Although, I mean, the first box was, again, always the first box that gives me decent pulls, like nice hits. If not nice hits, multiple rarity hits, good rarity hits. But usually, the first box is always giving me the best. And then from there on, nice. That's a nice Mewtwo. Reverse or Corona. Yeah, from after the first box, the second box usually isn't all that. I've only ever opened up two at a time, so this is the first time opening up three, I guess, at a time in one video. And I don't even normally do them in one video as well. But this time I bought a case of them, so you get four Pokemon Center Elite really Trainer Boxes in a case. I'm keeping one sealed, which is on, which is why I'm opening three of them today, which is 36 packs. Oh no. Damn it. Two packs left and we got our first double 
reverse energy. Hoping I wouldn't get, but so far, guys, oof, this one, this elite trainer box isn't looking too good. This elite trainer box isn't looking too good. No alternate or um, glaring gallery, or well, not even that many to be honest. First one there was quite a few. There, Let's oh, nice, go! one of the better non special glaring galleries. The mean, this is a beautiful. A beautiful artwork card and Tauros. All right, well we get last pack magic in the second box. I mean, I'll take that. That mule from this box, not bad, not bad of a pull, not bad of a pull. Although I would like to have seen one of the special artworks. Darkness Energy, Graveler, Bogomil Catcher, Slazzle, Shattop, Mr. Mime, Sunken, Bidoof, that was Mr. Mime. Last pack magic guys, last pack magic! Woo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Can you imagine yeah? The God Pack would be this and then Ugh. imagine that the Pikachu that secret of Pikachu and a gold card oh my days I can't believe I put a gold card already yes guys before we get into the last box the last 12 packs if you're currently enjoying the video and you stuck with me to this far i'd appreciate it if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more i appreciate it very much but let's get on with the video all right guys so last box last box all oh my days i can't believe it second box last pack magic we pulled the best one i don't i'm not gonna say the best I'm gonna say the most expensive gold card you can pull from this set, which is that Giratina. Wow, 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 guys! I'm telling you, I don't. It's just my luck, and I, at this point, I probably jinx myself. How can even people? Yeah, at this point, I probably jinx myself. But my luck is best from Pokemon Center, Elite Trainer boxes, and um, building battle kits. Ash, just because of the. Just for the sake of, I guess, YouTube, I open every product. But if I was one of those collectors where I was only opening for myself, let's go. This video has bangers on bangers, guys. Centering is dog poop. But we put a gold card, we put a full art, we put a radiant charge. Wow, hilarious. Guys. That Radiant Charizard, which you can barely see because of my light, is definitely the better version of the Radiant Charizard, which there's only two. There's the Pokemon Go, if I can get the pack open, open, which is the Pokemon Go one, and then this Crown Zenith one. Definitely that one's better. This, the Crown Zenith Radiant Charizard is definitely better than the Pokemon Go one. Leaf Energy, Carnivine, Lost Vacuum, Theron, Borneard, Tangela, Otoy, Meow, Will more Pokemon Catcher, and I'm upset. Oh my days, this opening is a success for sure. Yes, I'm happy that I can pull at least one gold card. The most expensive one, too. I'm happy about that. The most expensive one. Although we haven't seen a single Pokemon Galarian Gallery. Oh, oh, am I gonna see one? I doubt it. At this point, I doubt it. Bro, Absol. Nice. Is this one of the secret ones? Or is this the regular one? Dragon, okay. Here we go, next pack. Yes, I'm happy, I'm happy. To be honest, guys, I was actually... 
thinking about opening these three off camera just for once high five but i'm glad i didn't i'm really glad i didn't because i get to share with you that gold pot yes 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 there's our first better galarian gallery card and behind it a v card as well We're about halfway through the last box now, I think halfway through. Yes, so each box in some ways I've had the good pulls. First box more rarity, like more pulls, more better pulls. Second box, that gold card. Third box we pulled a secret rail or an or um oh there's a new that's a fake that's a reprint or just a re an alternate art of fusion strike I believe yeah second box we pulled the gold card third box we pulled at least one special version of the galarian galleries which I'm happy about so yeah nice one of each type of card in each box nice 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 i'm happy with that i'm happy with that so rock was back in rolu starry ponyard Burma, poke bull starly double oh yeah i'm not sure as well um if it's just crown zenith or going forward from 2023 if they've gone away with rainbow rares now because crown zenith doesn't have any um i don't know if scarlet and violet might be nice maybe that's that's from the secret rares i believe that's from the secret rare in v star universe volcanian yeah i believe starting from this year they're doing away with rainbow rares which I don't know how I feel about it. Like I, I, nev I never really liked Rainbow Rares to be honest, because they don't show the card like properly. So if you get what I mean, like the detail of the card because it's rainbow. There's so many colors. You don't really see the detail of the card too much. Double Pancham zero. So yeah, it's a, I'd, I'd say it's a good thing. I'd say it's a good thing. I'd r rather not have rainbows. I think they're replacing it with EXs, which, to be honest, I think EXs... EXs are probably better than the rainbows, I would say. Yeah, I would go with EXs over rainbows. Definitely. Oh my days! Oh my days, wow, wow. This, wow. wow, this card is nice. Centering this dog poop again. We pulled a gold card and the secret rare in this video, guys. Oh my days, wow. wow. I was not expecting that. Holy. The texture on this card, all on it. Wow. 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 I've seen the Japanese version of this one. Which I think I prefer yellow border. I think I prefer yellow border this time around on this one. I think I prefer yellow border. Wow! Alright, two packs guys, two packs left. I would have liked, I don't think it's gonna happen, but I would have liked to see a Pokemon. A V-Star, a V-Star variant, variant of the Galarian Galleries, but it's not going to happen. But I'm happy with that, we pulled the only secret rare in Crown Zenith, and we pulled a gold card. Yeah, I'm happy with that. 
I am happy with that, definitely. But how, how have I not pulled at least one of those? Last pack, guys, last pack. How have I not pulled at least one of those V Star Galarian Galleries? I mean, that got Daniel's Vega kind of took the spot there, I guess. I'm guessing a lot of the regular Galarian Galleries took the spots as well, but damn it. And that VMAX, high five, high five. I think that Deoxys VMAX spoiled it. That could have been any other Pokemon, but it had to be the VMAX. Just had to be the VMAX. Around um, Swabby, nice. We've got a decent set, a decent amount of the Galarian Galleries from the regular ones. Not bad, Agron Hollow. Alright guys, time for a recap. Let me move it off to this side a bit. Udo, my camp might block it. I doubt it. Um, do you know what? Let me just turn it off. Yep, so in order of box 1, 2 and 3, this is box 1. You've got the Lapras, Reverse Energy, although you're not gonna be able to go, you can see it a little bit. Duralinon V, Magmortar, Reverse Energy, Radiant Eternatus. Regigigas V-Star, Catania's Vigor, Magmortar, Friends in Hisui. That's from box 1. Yep, that's from box 1. This is from box 2, we've got Mew, Oriporeo, Lamazenta V, Lucena, Reverse Darkness Energy, and this is from box 3. So Swablu, Marie, Mew, Hatterene V, Deoxys V Max, Absol, Radiant Charizard, this is from box 3, but I left the two best ones for the back of the the recap. So we got the Pikachu Secret Rare 160 or 159, you probably just about see it. Wow, I wasn't expecting to pull this, to be honest. I wasn't expecting to pull this in this video, but we pulled it. And I wasn't expecting to pull this either. Wow. We pulled the best gold card you can pull, or the most expensive one in Crown Zenith in this video. Wow. And that was a Pokemon Center exclusive from Zenith Elite Trainer Box Plus, guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.